I'm Gina Green with the Nonprofit Center for Responsible Lending. At CRL, we agree with the payday lenders on one thing. Today's overdraft practices are bad news. Millions of Americans use their debit card every day because it's safer than cash, more convenient than a check, and doesn't get them in trouble with debt. Right? Well, not anymore. For most bank and credit union customers, debit card transactions are automatically approved with no warning or chance to cancel if they're overdrawn. The fact is, debit card transactions that trigger overdrafts put the customer's account in the negative by an average of only $17. They then charge an average of a $34 overdraft fee, twice the amount you borrowed for a loan you didn't even ask for. And this is where our common ground with the payday lenders ends. They say payday loans are the solution to this abuse. The fact is, payday loans are just as harmful. At 400% annual interest, a $300 loan has to be paid back in full in two weeks with a fee of about 50 bucks. Having to pay it all back in one paycheck means borrowers typically come up short before their next payday, so they need to take out another loan for another $50 fee. Every two weeks, often for months on end. Now that can really add up, but it doesn't stop there. When you take out a payday loan, you hand over a personal check for the amount borrowed or electronic access to your checking account, so the lender knows they'll get paid back. A Harvard Business School study found that payday lending increases the odds that people will repeatedly overdraft, incurring those average $34 fees each time. These repeat overdrafts ultimately lead to people even losing their checking accounts. Now that's a heavy burden of debt. So yeah, we agree. Overdraft is a problem, but payday lending only makes it worse. You do the math before the payday lenders do a number on you.